Ever wondered how machine learning algorithms categorize data without labels? The secret lies in a method known as clustering. Picture a bustling city market full of people, products, and colors. Clustering works similarly to how our mind naturally groups similar things together in such a scenario. Clustering is a method of unsupervised learning. It's the practice of assigning labels to unlabeled data based on the patterns that exist within the data itself. The algorithm essentially plays detective, identifying relationships and similarities within the data and grouping them accordingly. It's like figuring out the plot of a mystery novel without having read the last chapter. Now, there are two main types of clustering, semi-parametric and probabilistic clustering. Let's delve into these a bit. Semi-parametric clustering, as the name suggests, is partway between a fully parametric and a non-parametric approach. It assumes some form of structure in the data, but doesn't make rigid assumptions about the exact form of the underlying distribution. Imagine a group of people at a party. There might be clusters of people who know each other, but these clusters aren't rigidly defined. Some people might be floating between clusters or standing alone, the boundaries are fluid, and that's what semi-parametric clustering captures. The fluidity and flexibility. On the other hand, probabilistic clustering models the data using a probabilistic framework. It assumes that the data points are generated from a mixture of underlying probability distributions. Each cluster corresponds to one of these distributions. Think of a bag of multicolored candies. Each color candy is a different flavor and you can expect a certain number of each color in the bag. That's the underlying distribution. The colors are the clusters, and the flavor is the property that links all candies of a particular color together. To summarize, clustering is a method of unsupervised learning that assigns labels to unlabeled data based on the patterns within the data. It's like a detective uncovering relationships and similarities within the data and grouping them accordingly. There are two main types of clustering, semi-parametric, which assumes some structure but allows for flexibility, and probabilistic, which models the data using a probabilistic framework. Each type has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice depends on the nature of the data and the specific requirements of the task. So the next time you're faced with a mound of unlabeled data, remember the concept of clustering. It might just be the method you need to uncover hidden patterns and make sense of the chaos.